and welcome back um, quick update I've been keeping on working uh, so just gonna show you the latest of the results so um, I, I put the gun back on Charlie just had that uh, where is it there um, okay so I'm working now with uh, Camtasia Studio and that is giving me way better performance and way better recording quality so I'm gonna stick with that it's really cool because um, now the dynamics look the same if I if I record uh, on the other software that I had the the impact on performance was so massive that the dynamics went completely um, yeah lost but this is good now so yeah I've implemented because you can see the um, the costume is working now uh, there was something you can see it in the comments of the previous video about the master post component I forgot to do that and it's all working now so that's cool um, so I had like I set up a little, um, a little short key to switch around costumes to test stuff so I can strip a naked put this thing on put this thing on and then I've got this one which is basically um, a quick thing I made in Maya to um, test the per costume dynamics a bit better so what happens here is every time I press E it just toggles through a little uh, multi gate in the blueprint and along with that it sets quite some variables for there is an anim offset uh, sorry aim offset for the breasts uh, for the different types of uh, clothings that you have for now I have like four different ones so we got this one which is zero which is naked then we got this one where they move a little bit together uh, and up a bit uh, this one which only moves them together the difference are really slight but they're there and then this one which pushes them up um, a, a fair amount and along with that I'm also setting presets for all the dynamic alphas so because I've got a few bones going on here and as you can see now the front and the bottom of the boobs is actually not moving it's pretty it's staying pretty firm to that uh, whatever metal -y piece of armor that that's supposed to be and so you can see only the top like cleavage is moving and it, let me just go to the light and it's actually behaving pretty cool so yeah I can see you can I can kick and do like stuff and that bottom is just it's always gonna stay pretty uh, rigid and the boobs in that area are gonna stay restrained within that thing and yeah I can see if I move over here like slightly uh, it's actually only jiggling on the top which looks really cool and adds a bit, little bit more like I would say uh, how they call accuracy to the whole thing right so it's not it doesn't become like a, a moving pixel anymore it's, it's more like there's actually purpose to the whole thing um, so yeah I'm pretty happy that this is all working now so I can have like many different types of costumes and have them all impact the dynamics on the character body effects uh, quite accurately so yeah it's, it's all pretty cool let me just switch around a bit more so you can see that's like the naked version tits move pretty freely you can see they jiggle a lot which I think they should uh, they're fairly big but yep um, and this one obviously still 
kind of have has a, a bit of freedom um, but they don't move as much than this one it's supposed to be like a loose shirt so they s they would still move more like a bit and then this one again only the top and you can set up a lot of different things like uh, I could also separate the I could isolate the top and front and have the bottom be dynamic don't ask me how a costume that makes that would look like but everything's possible basically um, yeah so I added these stripy texture on the thing so it actually could be seen a little bit better uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for now guys um, see you next time bye